Hello there. Welcome to class. Welcome, welcome. I'm Miss Faust. Are you ready to write down today's assignment? Do you have your paper out? Oh, yes, you do. You have your pen or pencil? Fantastic. So let's get right down to it. Today is a creativity time day. Yes, indeed. But at the same time, yes, we're going to be creative, artsy in a way. We're going to review material that we've gone over this semester. You know, the various readings by um, Branch, by Collier, by Thurber. Yes, the stories and the poems. We're going to, in a sense, review. So are you ready for me to disclose what you're going to do today? Let's do this. Board number one. Creativity time. Woo! Here it is. You're going to do a book jacket. You're going, what? What's a book jacket? Okay, think of a book cover. That's another way of saying it. This is our the technical sort of term, a book jacket. Example, let me get out a book. When we talk about book jackets, we're talking about hardcover books, yes. Yes, and quite often they cost a lot, don't they? So here's a nice hardcover book. Woo! I think I just dropped a bookmark. Hold on, one moment. Yes, indeedy. Got to get that bookmark back. Okay, so let's try this again. You're going to say, Miss Faust. Yeah, we're being a little silly. Hold on, got a little stuck there. So this is a hardcover. Okay, one of those books. Nice heart. Cost, you know, a bit of money, and it's not like the paperbacks, yeah, okay. So, we're talking hardcover book. Now, the book jacket is this part, and that's the wonderful thing, because I can take it off. Here's the hardcover book, looks like that. I better put it away before I drop the bookmark again. Okay. Here is the book jacket. And then, of course, I can put the book back in the jacket. God, does that make sense? Fantastic. So yes, that's what we're working on today. We're going to be so creative about this. Okay, so what I need you to do is the following. Start writing. Um, choose one story or poem. We read poems and stories. So we had Collier, remember, with her story. Um, Mary Gulls, Eugenia Collier, okay. We had Lucille Clifton with what? Oh yeah, Miss Rose, oh Miss Rose, yes. We had Thurber, oh, we're never going to forget, The Secret Life of Walter, oh yeah, Walter Mitty. And then we had what? We had Anna Hampstead Branch with the Warrior Maid. So this is what we're looking at for, like a review, in a sense. So we don't forget these writers. Okay, so I need you to choose one of them. You could choose Collier, you could choose Branch, you could choose Thurber, whoever you want to work with. Okay, you might want to review this story or poem. Okay. So remember, Mary Gulls, Collier, Clifton, Miss Rosie, Thurber, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and The Warrior Made by Anna Hempstead Branch. Exactly. So you're going to create a book jacket or cover for your chosen story or poem. I know, they're not books, but like I said, we're going to create a book jacket for that poem, for that story. So you're going to create something, again, like this. Okay? Everyone got that? Ready for board number two? Okay. So here we go. You will need blank white paper and colors. Yes, I want this to be in color. Preferably on white, a nice blank paper. Okay, if not, yes, use lined paper, but it looks better if it's not with lines. So what I need you to do is, on the front cover, I need you to put the title of the piece, like the warrior mate, with the name, in other words, Anna Hampstead Branch, and then a picture. Front cover. Okay, yes, meditations for teachers. Yeah, meditation time, okay. Then, you open up your cover, okay? Left flap. So you're gonna have to do it some nice folding. So you're gonna have the paper, 
Okay, you've got your paper out, and you fold it in, and your left flap right here, the left flap, okay, this one, it will have the summary, okay? A summary of the poem or story. What was the poem about? What was the story about? If it's a poem especially, try not to give away the ending. Leave it like a cliffhanger at the climax of the poem, okay, or even with the story. So a summary, that would be right here on the left side. Now, when we talk about the right flap, you can use your notes. You will need biographical information about your writer. So if you have James Thurber, use your notes on Thurber. The right flap is right here. Biographical information. See, here's a summary of the book, of this book, and the um, biographical information about the writers of this book. Okay? So left summary, biographical information right here. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. The back cover, I want you to do two pretend reviews. So on the back, not every book has back cover the same way. Okay? So this one is a little bit of a summary it's just to get you hooked to want to open it up and read the flap and really get into the book, okay, so that you buy it. So the reviews um, are a way to get you interested. So an example of a review could be a perfect read, a powerful moving character, okay, a book that you can't put it down. So a two reviews. A let's look at it as um, we're talking positive reviews. Obviously. We don't want any negative ones. Who would buy the book? Who would buy the story or the poem? Okay. Right. A perfect read. A powerful moving character. Goes on the back. Pretend reviews. You make them up yourself. What can you say about Mary Gulls? A touching story. Okay. What about Miss Rosie? Okay. A review that could have something to do with uh, her situation. Okay. Any questions? So do we understand front cover, name, title, picture, a picture that would represent the poem or the story? Okay. And here you can see it represents school. Open it up. The left side. A summary of the poem, the story. The right flap, something about the writer or the poet. So look at your notes. And on the back, pretend reviews. Two. If you want to do more, that's great. All right. Any questions? And then, let me put this marker up here. Whoop. Now I'm sending you flying. And then, of course, because it's a book jacket, we have the book itself. And we would be able to do what? Put it back in here, wouldn't we? Let's do that. Whoops. There we go. Got it. There you go. So we're talking what? We're talking Thurber, Branch, Clifton, Collier, in other words, Mary Gulls, Miss Rosie, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, or the Warrior Maid. And keep in mind, color, color. Lots of greens and purples and reds and yellows. Blue. All the beautiful colors. Okay. If you have any questions, you're not quite sure you know, with folding up the um, book jacket, do the best you can, especially when you're trying to send it to me. Make it so I don't end up with, you're going, well, there's a front and there's a back and there are two flaps. Okay, there'll be four attachments. If you can uh, make it so you don't have four attachments, that would be wonderful. I'd appreciate that. Okay, less attachments, the better. Seriously. Okay. If you do have questions and you need some help, contact me. But we do have one more item. Can I forget this? One more. Hold on. 
What is something you can do, you can do, that no one else can? So is there something you can do that you know no one else can do it? Ooh, it's going to take a lot of thinking, isn't it? So, yes. So when you're done with that wonderful book jacket slash book cover, please respond to this. And let me check one more, one more thing to see if we, we have everything for today. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Let me see if I forgot anything. No, make sure when you do the bio information section, in other words, the biographical sketch, that you use your notes. Please don't research. I don't want you researching Thurber. Use what you've got. In other words, the material that I shared with you. Please um, do it that way. Okay. Nope, I think that is it. Okay, so that's that's it. Just remember that wonderful question. Otherwise, um, don't forget, it's all due when, 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 yesterday. Perfect. So I do hope you have a great day. Should be fun. Creating those book jackets, yes indeed. Till next time, bye-bye.